Hi everybody, welcome to Karin's Orchids channel. Um, it's Saturday, <laughs> today, Saturday morning, early, and um, I'm on my way to uh, the Orchid Society meeting, the monthly meeting, but before the meeting, I'm going to go and fetch the um, cultivation cabinet, which I've been talking about a lot and never showed to you. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't just talk. Today it's going to be reality. So, and I'm also going to show you a little bit about, um, yeah, I'm going to film the meeting, inside the meeting, just one or two minutes perhaps. Film the orchids for sale and a few pictures that the guy lecturing at the meeting uh, brought with him. Mikael Gustafsson, uh, an orchid grower kind of famous here, <laughs> out there on the web. Yeah, it's going to be really, really nice to see and hear his talk. Really, really nice to see, finally see that guy. I never, never had a chance to put a, put a voice to, to, the, uh, to the face, so to speak, or to the Catalea pictures <laughs> out there on the communities and stuff. So, let's uh, follow me to the meeting, firstly. Come along. So now it's afternoon and I'm back home again from the meeting. Lots of stuff going on in the city today. Lots of people everywhere. Um, various events everywhere. Uh, quite difficult to uh, find a parking lot for your car. and uh, So many people everywhere. We're not used to that, no? <laughs> but anyway, I'm back. And yeah, what's on the table? Stuff that I brought home with me. I bought a few orchids. Maybe you recognize this one from the little film I took on the orchids for sale. Lelia pumila times Diana times Sopranides Cochinea. Yeah. <laughs> Longest name. Look at its color. I'm not sure that this camera is catching the deep uh, really really bluish purplish color for me it really looks like the bloom is pink but actually it's not but anyway a gorgeous scent perhaps uh, six centimeters wide with this lovely long lip here with a deeper even deeper color to the throat yes yeah, so now you can hear and a little thingy down there, uh, something in there as well, yeah, some paddings, veinings, as usual. I've had Lelia Diana once, a reliable bloomer, which bloomed from each new cane here. It developed a little bud directly from the bottom of the, uh, uh, from, uh, from the bottom of the uh, leaf at the base here, without a sheath, that is. These canes look a little bit like these canes, 
a bit, uh, yeah, this size maybe, this size at most. But the leaf set is really, really similar to the uh, Diana. And the, uh, the little bud comes out from, yeah, down there, from the base of the, uh, the leaf here, on all the um, newly produced ones. Now let's see what this one's inheritance will be. I see no new bud in here, so uh, maybe it will come, but uh, on the Diana, it, I mean, it really, really came out directly before it, the growth even matured, so. But we shall see. And it's in growing stage and sitting in bark, as you can see. Well, I will wait with this one to put it into some hydro or uh, something similar. Yeah, it's doing great here in this spark, so looks great. And this is number two. As I said, I bought two plants. Uh, this is a, not an agrecum, not a pathopedalum, not a prepedium. What is it then? Yeah, this genus is um, kind of related to um, the agrecum family. As you can see, reminds us a bit of, yeah, Angrecum Magdalene, perhaps. Yeah, kind of similar to Magdalene. A little cutie here. And kind of, sort of, similar to Pethiopedal and Cochineum. Shape-wise, size-wise. <laughs> yeah. Jumelii sagittata, a species from Africa as well, the Comoro Islands, I think. It's, um, yeah, it's got some time, a few years perhaps, two flowering size, two years, I think. Costed 13 euro, sitting in bark, and mixed up with a moss. Yeah, looks great, except for the small markings here. I hope there's nothing wrong with it, or that it's just sunburn. But anyway, um, oh, good little root coming up there. This one is a medium-sized one, so but they can really grow large, these gemellii. <laughs> yeah, just as large as the um, ebeniums, I reckon ebenium and uh, witch the ice. So uh, this one is a medium-sized one. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, so uh, this this guy can produce blooms or shall produce blooms from the base here, base of the uh, new leaf leaf base, leaf joints, so to speak, and the blooms, yeah, maybe about six to seven centimeters, about three inches, yeah, two and a half to three inches wide, white blooms just like the Angrecums and heavily scented. So this one is going to be a great candidate for, yeah, guess what? The little cabinet. Yay. Warm growing one. Yeah. Fun to have. Really fun thing to have in, in a collection. And here's something else that's been lying here in this little bag for three weeks. It's Hoya David Kumingi I. Coming the eye. I got it from a, a guy at work, but I didn't dare to uh, <laughs> open the bag until most recently. So it was doing so well in here, and I I couldn't provide the humidity it required. But it's still alive and kicking in here. Yeah, I gave it a little bit of water. A little bit worried that it would rot for me, but it didn't. So. I'm not sure what its roots are going to look like, or if there are any roots, but that will be another question. But, yeah, it's still here. My first Hoya. Not an orchid, a Hoya. It's going to be in my cabinet. It's going to be reported into a uh, some kind of semi-terrestrial uh, party media. Kind of airy. But still, moisture retaining. But now, guys, 
what we've all been waiting for, for so long. It's the pinnacle of the day, the whole video, actually. My cultivation cabinet. Well worth waiting for, all this time. But finally it's here. <laughs> we thought we could carry it, the seven stairs up to my apartment. Well, <laughs> my stairwell lacks an elevator, which could be, uh, yeah, come in handy sometimes, yeah. But anyway, I, <laughs> I had to uh, ring on my neighbor's doorbell again, this poor guy. He's the most friendliest neighbor I ever had. Uh, yeah, I owe him a lot, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, since he uh, had to carry my aquarium as well. So, yeah, maybe a bottle of wine or something for them to show my appreciation. But anyway, here's the cabinet. 120 centimeters wide, 80 centimeters tall. I think 40 or 50 deep. I will measure more properly. Um, it's from an, yeah, an estate from an, a woman uh, who passed away some time, a couple of years ago. And her children donated all of her orchids and uh, cabinets. She had a few cabinets. Uh, and a few other cabinets, the smaller ones, I believe, already belonged to a few other Orchid Society members. So, uh, yeah, really good quality. All of them. And this one, yeah, here's a little fan. It's on. And there's yet another CPY or computer fan, yeah. See what it says. Yeah. This one is called TC2 Pro. And it will show us the lowest nighttime temperature and the highest temperature in this cabinet for, I believe, 24 hours or so. I'm not sure. I will look that one up, that brand. Um, what else is there? There's a lot of crap. But maybe, maybe not. This is a plastic um, air tube or of some sort. It looks like um, crap, but uh, I'm sure it was would have served its purpose if I wanted a uh, cooler growing cabinet. Well, uh, yeah, maybe sometime in the future. I would just need to um, <laughs> get some more proper information on how uh, really to manage um, all these things. I'm going to get some help from a friend on Friday, so he's going to come over and uh, take care of the, yeah, maybe connect this uh, little fan again. Um, the thing is, the fans has got um, their own switches, so I can s turn it on and switch it off uh, whenever I please, so <laughs> that's nice. A um, lot of timers lying about to the bottom here. Mm, what else? A few trays. With holes to them, net trace or whatever it's called. I cannot find the right word. Um, and this little net for hanging plants, um, mounted ones, or perhaps just hang, yeah, hang them as they are. Put a few holes to them and, yeah, place a hanger to them. Yeah, hang them up. Simple as that. And it's going to hold quite a few orchids or my smaller orchids so there will be some shelves uh with some spare space in the future yeah it's gonna be so nice to have them all in one area in one spot and it's gonna be yeah it's this tropical lovely spot i'm i'm, I'm really looking forward to uh arrange the orchids and uh, everything and yeah there are sliding doors to it the doors are somewhere in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah? And here. I think I'm going to put this one into mm, the exhaust pipe, shall we say, of the um, ultrasonic cool mist humidifier. Uh, I'm going to put a, uh, a timer to it. Yeah, a switch. Kind of sort of switch. And here's a little tube with holes in it. So the um, cooler mist fog will be switched on um, about five times a day perhaps i'm not sure yet but i would check the humidity level after time i will know how many times i will need to switch on it um yeah and maybe i can uh 
develop it a bit after time, but uh, for now, I think it will be okay. These two are light provided. One huge tube and a smaller one. Let's see what it says. 6,000 6,500 Kelvin. Yeah, it's an old fashioned type, but I'm sure it will work just fine. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the large one or the shorter one. But we shall see. And here's the cabinet from a distance. So you can see that it will be, yeah, really, really easy and available for me in my kitchen. To work with my orchids then I wouldn't need to have all these orchids on, on that shelf to the right and stuff just lying about yeah it's gonna be a little bit more compressed and it will soon become a lovely lovely tropical space in my apartment it's gonna be so fun to deal with this one and care for the orchids and see their development now when they're getting some more humidity yeah and a friend is going to come over on Friday and help me out with this one. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, The next video is going to be a Bloom and Spike video. So perhaps in the video after that, we're going to see some results. I'm going to show you this cabinet and what we did to it <laughs> and its progress, of course. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this little shorter video for once. <laughs> And hope you enjoyed it and like the little cab oh yeah, kind of sort of huge cabinet. Alright. Take care and talk to you soon. Bye bye.